So I've seen a lot of cover bands. I like to go see cover bands. It's a blast to see them, especially if there's a good one playing your favorite songs. One of the ones that drives me crazy is Blue Collar Man by Styx. It's time for the keyboardist to shine. Everybody knows when that song starts what it is. And I've seen a lot of cover bands cover that song and the keyboardist patch does not do it justice at all. Even recently on Live from Daryl's House, Daryl Hall, he had Tommy Shaw on there and they covered Blue Collar Man. Now, if I were that keyboardist, I would have been like, hey, Tommy, look at I got this, you know? I get it. It's not about the keyboardist on that show. It's about Tommy. It's about Daryl. But that is a keyboard's dream intro to be able to shine. Like, I think the guy just used a basic organ patch and it was like, that's not Blue Collar Man. Anyways, but for me, when it's time to play that song, I am going to do that as much justice as I can for that patch. That thing needs to grind. You're like sawing cement with that. When you hit that low D and it's just grinding there, you're like, oh, something, something big is going to happen. And you go into the main riff, it's like, it's like saw blades through cement, rock. I don't know. I've played it out of huge PAs and big audiences and it just sounds awesome. And people know right away when I hit the first chords what it is. Like, oh, this is Blue Collar Man. Oh, this is going to be great. So I am going to show you guys how I mix that patch. And it's not exact. You know, I'm not saying it's exactly like Styx. So that is an awesome patch they have there. But it's pretty darn close and it's better than I've heard out there everywhere. Even when I went to Vegas, like, I'm like, what, what are you playing? Um, I use a Korg Triton Pro from a long time ago. I think it's still relevant. It sounds awesome. Now, you might not be able to buy one of these new anymore, but you can get the VST digital uh, at Korg at their website. I think it's, it's really cheap. I think it's 200 bucks, maybe 250, yeah, it's something like that. They have all the patches in there. You can just, you know, if you're using main stage or anything else with a MIDI controller or anything else, you can just use that and put these settings in there just like that. So I'm gonna so show you all of the settings, everything that I use to get this sound and rock so you can rock people who wanna hear that song as well. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to try to get the best shot I can here of my touch screen and all of the settings I have to get this sound. So, as you can see, I'm using the Korg Triton Pro 76 workstation, 76 key. And you can see here, I'm using all eight of the channels I have available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into each one of these and show you which instrument I am using, and then I'll show you how the keyboard is split. So the number one, I have is a BX3 VLO switch. So that's the channel one. Channel two is the perk short delay or DK, sorry. That's on my second channel. Um, distortion organ, I have that in like a ton of ch I double up a lot of these. That's in number three. Number four, killer BX3. Number five, the perk short decay again. Six, distortion. Seven, distortion. And eight, distortion. Now let's take a look at how I have this. Now let me look at the mixer first. I don't know if I have anything. Yeah, it's all the same. I don't know why I have that at 123, but whatever, I'm leaving it. Um, so that's the mixer. That's how they're mixed. So there's nothing really special there that I'm doing. I'm going to go into the menu. Let's look at the pitch. So in channel four, five, and six, and seven, you can see that I have it transposed up an octave. So that's what I have there. Everything else is the same. And everything on this keyboard was stock too, so I didn't really mess with uh, oscillations or anything like that or even deep into any of the settings. I didn't go that deep. I just mixed how I mixed this to get the sound. I'll show you the effects after that. 
Here's how it is split. Now, I know that this is tough to get a good shot here without light glare. I know on channel one, there's a little bit of light glare. Um, what I will do is try to shoot a picture of the of each of these and I'll have it in a, a PDF for you guys if you would like it. Uh, but you can see here how I have everything mixed up with the with the board. You can see a lot of action happening right here. That's the main beef of my uh, patch right there. And then you can see just the two down here for that low grinding effect um, for that. And then this is the, the main patch. And then up here is during the verses. And that's just a regular old uh, you know rock organ, nothing special there. Um, as far as my effects, this is the main ones. Here's the master EQ gain. I found that just to work well for going out of big PA systems and big systems. That, that sounds really good. Um, I had the returns uh, dialed in the center at uh, 64 each. Uh, Detune is on and reverb smooth hall is on. In here, I don't believe I changed anything. I think this was stock, but I'll show you this just in case. Yours is different. And here's the settings for MFX2. Then the master EQ looks like this. Didn't really do much there. I'm going to go out of the screen back to the menu to insert effects. And here is how I have the effects distributed. And it's basically FX1 all the way, all the way across. And Here's how that looks, and I have the chains hooked on all these. So here I have the stereographic 7EQ, the rotier speaker, stereo compressor, harmonic chorus. I have all those going on, and the FX1. I don't believe I, I don't, I didn't change any of these settings that I recall. But I'll just show them to you in case yours came different. Because I think when you buy the VST from Korg themselves, I think that the way that their stock settings like this is slightly different than how it was on the actual workstations. And that's the number four. And that's the number five. So that's how I have it all routed. And that is the patch I use. Love it. People know exactly what's happening when I start this patch, when we ever cover this song. You have any other questions about this? Let me know. I will answer as soon as I can.